All right. Oop, let me just bump my mic after I unmute it. That seems right. Also have my phone volume super loud. Cool. Good evening. It's your casual internet acquaintance, Negatron. And uh, I'm pouring my coffee, getting ready for the stream -o. Let's put me up here. I am doing well, Boop Snoot. How are you? I have had a productive day. Did some research. Cut some wood. Coffee at this hour, but of course, Boop Snoot. I run the, uh, if, if, it seems like I found myself running the, uh, the end shift here. You know, I, I try to bookend my day with streaming, which gives me the option to either skip morning or evening and not feel too bad about it or not feel too bad about skipping a whole day because sometimes I manage to stream twice a day. Uh, today was one of those days I had to skip morning because, uh, Oh, cheers, by the way. Because, uh... I discovered my cat had peed on my surge protector. And when I went to start cleaning it, I guess I shifted the moisture around and I started hearing a sizzling. And so rather than delay, for no more than a second or two did I hear that sound, was I able to just yank all the cords to everything. Which m forced me to do a hard shutdown on my computer, but... We've made it through. Oh, I need my GameCube controller, but in the meanwhile... Alright. Tell me you heard that. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I mean, I didn't expect it. There's a new cat in the house, and it's, uh... You know, so there's some disruption in, in, in kitty habits around the house. So that's to be expected. Hey, all right, it's working. <coughs> Important thing is, there was apparently no harm done to cat or computer. The uh, pee stain has been shampooed, uh, and, and we're and we're good to go. Also, the surge, pro the new surge protector is now lifted up off of the off of the ground, so this can't happen again. And we're going to get those little automatic air sprayers that apparently exist to shoo cats away from places you really definitely don't want the cat to be. So anyway, here we go. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. You know, they, they're welcome to try to find a way, Boop Snoot, you know? Part of owning a cat is uh, the, is the uh, you know, back and forth in the relationship you have with this animal over the course of its life. <laughs> Alright, so I thought I'd start this session with a little bit of the story time since I've been skipping all the uh... skipping all the data logs. It's Peachy here for the sleep lurk. Thank you, Peachy. Hey, I'm glad you like the new emotes. They've, they're coming in like hotcakes, let me tell you. I've had a couple of very, very generous, nice, lovely people come through. Uh, and that's it's really boosted things around here. Around here. Sorry, I don't know why I always want to get country when I say that phrase. Alright. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. What the hell, how do you play this game? So... I don't remember what's going on. Oh, yes, yes, we got the three keys. With the three keys, we can go to the uh, dark temple, right? So we need, to, we need to get to the dark world, is the long and short of it. Which is a way over here. Drat. <coughs> oh, thank you, Peachy. <laughs> First try. I'm glad you like the emotes. I think they're, you know, for being little quick, self-made jobs. They go with my branding, which I guess one day might get me in trouble. I don't know. I've seen plenty of property emotes and stuff like that. Anyways. Let's make our way to the dark world and return these keys. 
We have the light cannon, the dark cannon. I don't think we have super missiles yet. Uh, and yeah, let's do that. I think that was this way. Oh, no, no, that's right. We, we were going to do uh, story time. My bad. Got distracted. Uh, lore. Here we go. Look at this crap. Look, okay, there's three submenus under lore. So let's, let's do space pirate logs today, since those are probably the most engaging. Hold on. Alrighty. So, for space pirate lore, we have cycle 6 and 7. I presume those are times. And here we go. Samus Aran, the accursed hunter, has arrived. The sudden arrival of the hunter is strange enough, but her actions are stranger still. Does not seek her destruction, but our Phazon. With each raid, she steals Phazon ore. Oh! Okay, I see what's going on here. Obviously, it's not us who's stealing the Phazon ore. But we sure have a... Uh, we sure have a doppelganger who could be kind of mistaken for us. Like, see, here we go. They suspect she needs the phase on for her new armor suit and its color. Equip with strange weapons. Troops now call her the Dark Hunter. It is a fitting title. Oh no, the hunter got even more crazy and edgy. Alrighty. Uh, 7136 comes before the other date. Another disaster transport bringing in bringing our reinforcements and supplies has been shot down <laughs> right uh, uh, dark Samus has toes that's the edgiest part of it in my opinion uh, it was engaged in orbit by a Federation vessel landed near the temple only a matter of time. Oh, see, they were already down here doing business before the Marines uh, crashed down here. Uh, another enemy first, the Shadowlings, then the Dark Hunter, and now the Galactic Federation Marine Corps. The pirates are like, shit, we're getting it from all, all sides. Uh, perhaps fate will smile upon us before the world itself opens its maw and swallows us. I don't know if that's optimistic or not. Uh, all right. Let's check this last log. Another hunter wearing the traditional colors of Samus Aran made planet fall today. <laughs> Dear diary, <laughs> Samus Aran number two landed today. Horrific as it may sound, there are two of them now. We are bracing for a new assault. <laughs> hey, Anarcho, Anarcho, uh, Anarcho, uh, Anarcho Faust. Gosh. Mr. Faust, or Miss Faust, sorry, didn't mean to gender. The Faust, yes, indeed. The Faust, the. Uh, so, yeah, I love the pirate lore. It, it, it's uh, probably got the most comic relief in the entire series. That's great. Horrific as it may sound, there's now two of them. This dire turn of events may bear some goodwill, as one of our scouts in Dark Aether saw a curious encounter... Dark Hunter attacked the one clad as Samus near the Phazon site. Perhaps they are not allies but foes. Perhaps we can forge an alliance with the sea. Opportunistic and clever are the space pirates. Never play two but love number one. I'm the same way. A few years back I played through this one maybe halfway. I have a save file that apparently indicates that. And uh, I am having some recollection of stuff. But I haven't finished it. And I've never played three at all. So I'm looking forward to getting through the Prime series at last. Oh gosh, trilogy release on Switch, that would be... That's asking a lot out of Nintendo, isn't it? You know, they wouldn't want, they wouldn't want to give us Wind Waker and that either, would they? Remember that one April Fool's thing they did when they put... <laughs> they still put out, Nintendo is putting out every game on the Switch ever. Even, even Nintendo games. Mm. You wanted to get the Wii version, but never did, yeah. <coughs> yeah, there was the Wii U version of uh, Wind Waker that was re-released. So it's like they were in Twilight Princess too. Anyways. Yeah, Shattered Hopes and Dreams. Uh, why are we here? Just to suffer? <laughs> oh, God. 
anyway, so that was the Space Pirates. I'll probably try to make it uh, try to make it a habit to read through one of the lore sections uh, as we start a sesh here. I think this was the way to go. I'm gonna lean into it. I need to shake the kinks out anyway. Sometimes you just need to roll up into a little ball and go cruising through the sphincter. That's right, we opened up the express route. <laughs> Anything neat in here to scan? Oh, hi, Metroid! Ah, oh, shit, we're stuck in the damn corner. <laughs> Eat it! There we go. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. I mean, you saw it. You play video games. There's crazier phrases to be to be uttered. Cruising through the sphincter is pretty mild as far as video game related contextual phrasing goes. Ah, oh, you got me. Now I'm stuck in the orifice. <laughs> See? <laughs> You know, this is a sci-fi game with, like, bio-experiment elements. This opportunity for all kinds of grody biological terms that I can use in a gesturely manner. Is that a word? Comedic, I should just say. How about a warm-up? Straight up fighting Metroids and Metroids right, right out of the gate. Well, that's the game. I win. Oh, hey, what up, Walla? The Tron is fresh tonight. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer, Boop Snood. I appreciate you. <laughs> I can't count. How many bits was that? Nine bits. Thank you. All right. Wait. Maps. I did take the inefficient route after all. Curses. That's fine. Nightbot, yay! Yeah, you can't do the. I, I, I've, uh, I've, I've said uh, it's a tradition on stream now for me to utter this, and it's only because of the extreme generosity of everybody. So thank you once again for the bits. But I have a problem with Nightbot. Yeah, yeah, it, it's the worst thing ever. I've, I've gone in and tried to disable it. I swear it's toggled to disable right now. Like it's. Like, it's supposed to ignore things, but... Yeah, I've gone into the Nightbot browser thing, I mean, unless there's, like, some other less straightforward way, but the emote filter is shifted to, uh... to, uh, disabled. But maybe one of y'all experienced folks can maybe help me out and tell me what I'm doing wrong, uh... Uh, at a time that's convenient for the both of us. <laughs> yeah, I went in and told it, uh, at first I went to tell it just to be off, right? And it was still doing it. And then, uh, after that failed, I went back and said, okay, well, I'm gonna turn you back on, but I'm gonna make it, like, a really chill filter. Oops, I went the wrong way. Uh, which way are we going? Man, we are way off track. Uh, and then I was like, well, let me give it like a 20 emote limit. Like, okay, if you're spamming more than 20, 25 emotes, maybe chill. And, uh, and, uh, still, no luck. It starts complaining at, you know, like eight or so. There you go. I'm just brute forcing my way through here. Words, phrases, maybe that's what's happening. Maybe, maybe it's a, it's not my emote filter doing it. Maybe it's words, phrases. Now I think about it, that's what it says there, right? One, one could almost say it's telling me exactly what it is. <laughs> okay, I got it. Problem solved. Well, thank you everybody for helping me put that together in my mind, and getting me just a little bit further up the learning curve. Walla, thank you so much for coming in and lurking, buddy. Enjoy your meal. That's what's up. 
Now the the uh, the real question is, am I going to be able to remember this <laughs> when it comes time to to do the work to fix it? Nah, probably not, right? <laughs> uh, am I gonna be able to blow up anybody with this thing right now? Nope, already did that. Oops, that's the missile bug. <clears throat> All right. Well, thank you for joining me, everybody. Of co uh, as always, y'all rock. And should anybody who happens to be knowledgeable about the game come in, uh, I won't mind a little bit of quality of life backseating occasionally. You know, when it's clear that, oh man, this dude is like on the wrong side of the planet, it's gonna, you know. That kind of thing. I don't mind a little bit of nudging in the right direction. But otherwise, this is an extremely casual thing. Regulars would know. <laughs> Wait, is it the upper one or the lower? It's the lower one. Is it the up or the down? the down yeah right well I mean there's a couple of places where they'll respawn if I go a couple of rooms away and come back you know so it, it, it's not nearly as surefire an indicator as I would like it <laughs> oops I don't even remember if I played this game <laughs> that was an accurate uh, impersonation of boobs dude by the way <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's good. Alright. <laughs> no, no, I'm returning the keys to the Dark Temple or arena thing. There might have been a more efficient navigation through newer portals that I've unlocked, but frankly, I can't really be. I can't remember their locations yet because they're like really fresh. Okay, so I think I gotta go here, which is just uh, just around the way here. All right. Can't wait till one day we can not be sizzled just by being in Dark Aether. Oh, that's not a friend. That's a that's a foe. Hey, what's up? I can oh shit, it's a oh man, Panda Raid. Hey, what up, everybody? Something's wrong with my alerts, I think. But uh, super cool. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid and coming in, everybody. Okay. See, it was it was the whole being a good sport about the mic joke, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, that way that alert's working. Thank you for the follow. Uh, yeah. Let's see how are we gonna pronounce it now. Uh, Namak Namakaz uh, Namakaz uh, San. What what do you go for for short? Sixty nine. Uh, Pandalisha, thank you, Ham Fu, Dr. Bowtie, holy cow, everybody. Thank you for the follows. <laughs> hey, that's super rad. Uh, well, my name is uh, Megatron, and I'm stumbling my way th through uh, Metroid Prime Echoes. Now I can't, t I totally don't know what the heck anything is anymore. I'm so excited. <laughs> right, here we go, I'm going the right way. <laughs> All right, let's 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 see if what's happening in in uh, in chat in, in chat. <laughs> so someone's uh, complimenting my appearance. Uh, uh, 
Namikaze san. <laughs> I swear to God. That's gonna be. Uh, I go for Nami. Okay, Nami. Bets with the cheers. Thank you. Bits from bets, everybody. Uh, let's see if I missed anything. Holy, holy smokes. Uh, I gotta click here and then do this. Uh, wait, what? Panda raid? There it is. Yep. I cake says whoop whoop. Pandalicia. Uh, Hanfu says I see Metroid and Earthbound. I follows. Hey, now we talking. Doctor Bowtie, welcome. And yes, thank you so much for for all the follows. Incredible. Uh, yeah, uh, I do variety streaming in CRUD. I'm planning on doing a, a Legend of Zelda Link to the Past uh, randomizer run in the very near future. Like, very near future. I, like, spent a good portion of the afternoon figuring out how to get all that figured out. Alright, I did the thing. <coughs> Ooh, Nami's very lewd. That's that's cool, you know. We, uh, I ain't got a problem with that. <laughs> uh, Nami or Madam Secretary. Excuse me, Madam Secretary. Uh, looking forward to Zelda. Uh, and yeah, everybody's just having a good time in chat. Awesome. Cool. I just got all the keys for this door. It took forever. And now I can access the temple. I hope you're excited, Madam Secretary. Oh, I gotta... Uh, please walk into the holographic field. It's cutscene time. Nope, that just fell right over. Very elegant. <laughs> Alright, into the... Vo ah, crap. Well, I'm gonna have to remember how to fight this. Let's -a go. <laughs> I should have hit a save point somewhere in the dark world. Oh well. Holy snap. That looks like something out of HR Giger. Very excited for Zelda and <laughs> Chris Peacock. Very good. Uh, what does this do for us? Target is biogenerated power sphere. Dark energy to the amorbus xenotech directed uh, spheres produced weapons. Okay. All right. So this is like I'm getting Moldorm vibes off of this. Ow. Okay. Come on, scan the scanalyzer. I demand you scanalize. Okay. <laughs> we got some we got some characters in chat. Alright. Amorbus, gigantic tunneling guardians. Uh, avoid target as it enters and leaves the earth. Look for disturbances in the ground. Target cannot survive for long if outer shell is cracked. Uh all right, well, power beam hits it. There's that. Also, the stereo sound gives me an indication of where it's at. Huh. It can't be that easy. I do need this health, though. Oh, I missed the other one. Oh look, there's all kinds of health. I need to get it before it's gone. Give me the health, damn it. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, eat it, grub worm, you grody looking thingamajig. Alright, well. Ooh, there we go. Now we're talking. Ah, I missed health that was over there. Drat. 
<laughs> well, there will be time, I'm sure, Madam Secretary, for Mike Oxlong. It sounds like Mike Oxlong is the kind of guy you want to make time for. Oh! Yeah, bomb it. <laughs> Pro strats. Alright, now it's important that I collect all this health. Oh, it's important that my thumb do not slip off of the controller. Look at his belly. <laughs> nice. I thought there was two of them. Just getting lucky not being hit, I guess. Ah, shit. So much for that. Now we're getting more efficient. Oh, the other one was just like waiting. Wow, what's that about? Chill out, guys. Gosh. Ah, shit. I'm a trubs. Have a good night, Madam Secretary. Damn, so should I just focus on one or the other? Okay. Ow. Damn, this is not going well all of a sudden. Maybe I should just focus on one or the other. Alright, that'll, that'll deal with that one, right? There we go. Should do it, right? Hopefully. Oh shit, there's health everywhere. Gotta get it. Alright, I see. Now we have to do it to all three, right? Ah, rule of threes. You video games. Alright, we got lots of health again. We know what we're doing. We're well positioned. In fact, we could probably use light beam going forward. Oh, come on, target. Oh, you know what? First I gotta hit him with uh, this stuff. Or do I? This boss fight's very generous with pickups, though, gotta say. Thanks for the lurk bits. Sorry, Chad, if I'm not that engaging. This is uh, the equivalent of a first time boss fight, I guess, for me. Shit. Alright, where are we at? Uh, 
Dang it. There we go. Scored some hits. Alright. Ah, shit. It's soft bits are showing. I should be able to do this. There we go. Now we do... Oh, not quite. We doing the center thing now, guys? There we go. Let's get with it. There. Easy peasy. By the numbers. Thanks for the lurk, Pandalicia. You just, thank you so much for the raid and the follow and everything. You guys are super cool. And apparently... Very animated and eccentric, and that's welcome around these parts. <laughs> Thank you, Hamfu. I know I do have one actually, but it's like derelict. Uh, that time will come soon, I suspect. I've only just barely gotten this like channel up and rolling and stuff, so <laughs> it's all coming like it's coming so fast. Thank you, Pandalicia. Have a good night. Also, first try. That's what she said, says Dr. Bowtie. Sweet. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, y'all just being goofy goof nuts in the chat. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? What do we get? Ooh, this is gonna be the dark suit. For real? Cool. Remember how, how I was just whining about that? <laughs> Thanks again, Panda. You'll definitely be seeing me around. Oh, that, that was my in my ears. I thought I was hearing a strange noise in the house. Cool. We got the edgy suit. Cool. That's, a, that's awesome to hear, Pandalicia. Similar interests are fun. <laughs> uh, cheers. All right, well, it looks like we can... Yep. Oh, no, wait. We still sizzle. Bummer. I guess we just don't sizzle this hard. Uh... Okay. So then, now that we've gotten here and fought this boss, got the dark suit, it looks as if there's a couple places we can poke around. Oh, namely this place. Oh, right, I'm supposed to take the energy back from these things and bring it back to the light world. I remember the plot now. Oh, I gotta... No looking. Privacy, please, during the energy transference procedure. Boop. <laughs> and then the unceremonious thud of a morph ball out of the slot. Alrighty. There we go. That's the thing I need to get the energy out. That was just a security door. I have a feeling this is going to like attract Dark Samus. We look kind of like RC from uh, the Transformers animated movie from the 80s. Or as I like to call it, the greatest rock opera ever put on film. <laughs> You've got the touch. You've got the power. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I'm going to DMCA myself in a very silly manner. Looks like we're in doom. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my goodness, another raid. Holy cow. Wham bam shubop. Wham bam shubop with nine. Thank you so much. Nico, F oh sorry, let me go ahead and uh, everybody quick. Nightbot doesn't like too many emotes and I've done a lot to try to do it and I still need to fix it. We figured it out earlier in the stream. It's an issue that's been handled. Welcome aboard, <laughs> everybody. Uh, thanks for coming by. Hi, I'm Negatron. I play classic games and new games. Uh, and stumble my way through Metroid Prime 2 while getting an unbelievable viewership. <laughs> Yeehaw! Hi, Nico4. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Wambap, Shubab, who, who'd you bring? Poison Ivy 420. That's a dope name. <laughs> Ubu in all. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, it's, going wa uh, it's going well, Wham. Uh, it's your favorite entry in Prime series? Glad to hear it. Uh, it's my first time going to go all the way through it. Wrong title. Say what now? It says Metroid Prime Time at Prime Time 2. Is there an echo in here? I think that's a clever title. Playing the GameCube version. Yep, yes indeed. Original hardware and all. I mess with the camera and show you the GameCube, which is to my right. But Bets in chat, uh, my main mod Bets, she uh, lend me the GameCube for streaming purposes. And uh, boy, how do I hoe her. <laughs> uh, sneezing Ducks... Thank you for the compliment. Yep. Original version and everything. I got me one of them old Elgatos that has the... Uh, I don't know what the hell you call that port. The one that's like old school computer port thing with the pins inside it. No, it's a, it's a perfectly... You know, stock GameCube and all. Hey, cool, Max. What's up? Yeah, the stream is popping off, Max. Let me tell you, two raids, a very generous couple of raids. Thank you, Wham Bam, and uh, Wham Bam Shubop, and of course, the no longer in the room because she lurking, uh, Pandalicia. I would hit my shoutouts, but those are also broken too. Hey, I'm new to the stream thing. I didn't realize it'd be popping off so hard. <laughs> Yep, more raid indeed. I think I should just leave. I don't feel like fighting these guys. I guess I could light ray them. Oh, they could also light ray me. Screw it. We're out. <laughs> Let's get back to the light world. I don't know, whatever. Uh, it's uh, Wham Bam's favorite Metroid game. Uh, wonder if anybody else is uh, familiar with the Metroid series at all. I'm doing I'm doing the thing where I'm trying to go through the story uh, the games in story order in the lead up to Dread, right? As you do. Cuz very excited for Dread in October. So uh, I do hope y'all Metroid fans will stick around for the duration of that. Metroid Prime 3 is next. I've never played it before. And I have it on the Wii, the original version, also. And my Wii works on stream also, so it's all going to work out. Uh, let's see, let's try and... Hey, what up, Constantine? Things are going down in my neck of the woods. Alright, I need to get back to the portal. Where the hell's the damn portal room? Okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. There's also a save room. Everything's going to be fine. I'll get to the save room and I catch up on freaking chat. Here we go. I did it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on here. You're doing the HDMI mod currently. Oh, cool. Wolf Hunter. Triple Six Nine. <laughs> Rad name. Slow heavy metal music playing in that. Uh, yeah, it is a party up in this bitch, Boops. Things are happening. Things are happening for old Negatron. 
how far am I in the game? I'm not too far. I'm only about to return the first region's power source to the temple. Uh, Dread is wild. Myth turn real, right? Metroid's your favorite game series, wham bam. Two emotes on the channel are Metroid themed. Let's see. Oh, I can see them now. Those are the... Uh, Ectacoons and some other thing I can't quite recognize. Yours are meep themed. Lost your shit when you saw the announcement. So hyped for Dread after Fusion. Had quite a bit of fun with the new 64. Yeah, Constantine. I saw you were playing Doom 64 for a minute right before I jumped on. Uh, um, uh, uh, how'd you feel about it? I haven't given it a fair shake since since the good old days, right? Uh, have small animal theme. That's cool, ham foo. That's, I mean, it goes with your name, right? Is that like hamster kung fu? Is that what you're going for? Uh, but also, you Metroid fans out there, I would like to recommend... Uh, yeah, I guessed it. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> hamster foo. Uh, what was I going to say? Mm. Yeah, all you Metroid fans out there, have you tried the Prime 2D fan remake of Metroid Prime in two dimensions? There's a demo that's out that I like to recommend to people because Nintendo likes to put the C and D on those sorts of things. As in cease and desist. Like they did for another Metroid uh, 2 remake, right? A AM2R. You gotta be... You gotta be craftier than usual to get a hold of that game if you haven't if you didn't get it before the C and D hit. Yeah, I'm looking forward. I'm actually planning on doing uh, AM, an uh, AM2R uh, as the Metroid 2 entry of the series here, especially because I haven't played it. I played the original back on the Game Boy. Played the shit out of that. I remember getting going to Montgomery Ward as a little tiny tiny guy and I said mom that one <laughs> and she said okay oh shit have we fought these guys yeah we have do I know you guys from somewhere you're kicking my ass they should have sent you instead of those worms I guess I could be using the light beam right I feel like the ammo for it's hard to come by. Boy, it sure kills him dead though. Let's see. Saw but didn't get around to playing it. Still have it on your PC before the 3D remake came out. Yeah. I haven't heard of someone talk about Montgomery Wars in years. They shut down. Yeah. Yep. Welcome to old old status. Wham, bam, shubop. <laughs> this, is, this is what it's like. You know, I'm sure we could talk about how various aspects of our bodies are starting to fail. <laughs> uh, but I'll spare you. Okay, so we gotta go to the hub now, so an elevator suits our purposes, yes? I hope so. I'm really just kinda going on assumption. We gotta get back to the, like, temple hub in the center and talk to that one Luminoth that's still alive. Thank you, Boop Snoop, for the cheer and for aggravating Nightbot. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna make that part of my branding, aggravate Nightbot. <laughs> it's it's a challenge. It's it's uh, how you know you're part of the community is if you've aggravated Nightbot. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm so glad we kind of figured that out. We figured that out. Or right, well, you guys saw what was wrong and told me who was ignorant otherwise. <laughs> That's awesome of you, Boop Snoots. Thank you so much for the bits. Okay. This suit, though, right? 
I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I wanted it, but now I don't want it. All right, got to get up and over. Old Sam has got to get up and over. Hmm. Hey, what up, Cooper? Been editing for the past six hours. Time to get to bed. Well, have a good night, uh, uh, Cooper. Thank you, as always, for coming in. It was fun hanging out with you on Lucy's stream today, watching her smash her way through Dark Souls with the most brute force playstyle I've ever seen in my life. Hey, what up, the Palskinator? Can't stay, but just saying have a good stream tired hey thanks buddy that's awesome of you thank you for stopping by i don't mind that at all come and go lurk or not all are welcome uh, let's see the dark suit is more about function over fashion yeah i guess so nico uh ham food <laughs> hey mech bye mech oh you're gonna uh, oh no cooper's going to okay yeah I'm trying to keep up you're almost done with Dark, Soul, Dark Souls yourself, Hamfu? Is it your first time? Which uh, which entry in the series? Alright, one down. Oh. Alright, dealt with. First game, cool. Yeah, last Lord Vessel boss. Good stuff. I highly encourage Dark Souls playing. Hey, look at this. I didn't notice this. What the hell is this? Can I scan it? I can. Denzium. What the hell? All right, well, I apparently don't got what it takes for that. Not that hard, honestly. I mean, yeah, you just it just requires the right mindset and you in and, and anybody can, you know, get through Dark Souls, really. Ah, right. Where the hell Oh, I went the wrong way from the save point. What a fool I am. I wanted to go. Well, we can just go left now. Is it high or low? It's low. Watching some Olympics as you fade. Thanks for coming through, Boops Newt. By the way, you good people. Everyone check out Boops Newt if you haven't. He's uh, doing some speedrunny type stuff in, in Resident Evil. It's, uh, it's uh, quite a thing to watch him go. Straight ahead till Christmas or whatever. Ow. Ow. Oh, you seen some good clips? Yeah, I wonder where those came from. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Patience in 2021. In this economy? Yeah, I guess. Got to. What the fuck is this? Oh. Oh, I gotta go to the... Oh. Jeez Louise. Okay, to the temple. Where's the temple? Ah, oh, here we go. Well, shoot, I was on the right track then. I should have just believed in myself. Oh, is that that one? Oh, okay, yeah, I know the one you're talking about, Cool Max. Uh, Crazed Kurt. Hey, Crazed Kurt. Am having a great night. And so is everyone in chat, I hope. Be just keeping it mellow. Very casually blundering my way through uh, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes on the original GameCube hardware. I guess I put that in the title instead of my, like, clever witticisms. Oh, 
All right. You haven't been missing much if you haven't been playing uh, the game. Or if you haven't been watching the game for a couple minutes. It's just been me kind of going back and forth. Thanks for the hydrate. You know what? My coffee's cold. I'll take a sip, though. And then I'll check my posture. And, uh... I'll do you a double. Have a good night, Hamfu. Enjoy wrapping up your playthrough of Dark Souls. Try Bloodborne and Sekiro one day as well. Peace out. Thank you so much for coming through in the follow. Oh dear Hunter. Hey, what's happening? Completely lost. Yeah, I'm just vibing. Uh, not quite used to... Uh... Oh, Bloodborne is next. Word him up. That's the spirit, Hamfu. Uh... Oh, hey, pirate. How you doing? All up personal with me here. Ow. Okay. I blew them up real good. Where to? See, this is what happens. Is there's four ways out of these rooms, and you get all turned around fighting. I don't want to kill the nice little crab creature. Set. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Nico4. Appreciate ya. Oh, and the bits, bets. Thank you. As always, holy smokes. I need to turn up my computer volume so I can hear this stuff. Man, I made it to the temple, I think. This looks familiar. Souls per... You know, people working on a new game? Yeah, Elden Ring. January. Much excite. It's, uh, I've seen that, the, the one, like, big reveal trailer that they just did not too long ago, and, uh, it, the gameplay looks rad, and so I've officially put myself on all further information, you know, I'm not, I don't want to know, know anything else, I'm gonna play this game, and previews have been known to spoil shit in this, in these, in this day and age. <laughs> of a fever, a fever dream. <laughs> I thought you were, like, referencing something else. I was like, what's a Favre dream? <laughs> Can I get a large Favre dream? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. want to go in as uh, unspoiled. That's what I did uh, with uh, Death Stranding. Because people were talking about how the like release day trailer actually spoils a lot of stuff and I think it like and I watched it after the fact and yeah I could see that even without context a lot of details were revealed in that release day trailer what meat dreams for me only five of beans in mine what time is it anyway nine o'clock You've got the touch. You've got the power. I watched pretty much all the trailers for Death Stranding except for that last release one. And and looking back, the last release one kind of did almost contextualize some things a little bit. Oh man, yeah, that's right. That that's next September. Uh, what do you call it? Death Stranding director's cut. I got my uh, PS5. Lucky ducky is me, and I'm re I'm I'm ready. I'm down for it. I platinum the uh, the original version. It's Luminoth time. Thank you very much, and you're very welcome. Look, I did it. I moved the game forward a significant milestone. The red controller's spicy, right? It, it was like... I don't normally go for such indulgence, but I was like... That red controller, though. <clears throat> Alright, let's find us a save point. Because it's time... To get involved with a little bit of 
the next thing. Kojima can no longer contain himself. Yeah, Kojima unrestrained is an interesting thing. <laughs> That's for sure. I really enjoy Death Stranding. Uh, it, you know, like I, I don't know how much of his writing and localization, you know, interacts exactly. But I'm pretty positive he wrote the Pete Princess Beach line, you know? Yeah. Oh, there, oh, you're even talking... <laughs> no, Princess Beach was, in fact, not going far. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, Deer Hunter knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. Like, I thought I was going to lose it at the whole Amerigo Vespucci <laughs> thing. Uh. All right, where's the savey pointy? Also, I guess this would be the. All right, you know what? Let's let's do what I was trying to do originally, and return to the temple that they wouldn't let me leave to get to because I was holding on to the power. Miyazaki does all the names in English and Japanese. Yeah, I mean, it's not like localization gets to get away with everything. I'm sure they get, like, a guidance document and have to be in touch and things like that. This looks like the way. So what makes me a fan of the Mother series? I was the prime demographic of the Mother series. Well, Mother 2, Earthbound. I had I, I even got a uh, the copy you know the big box with the uh, player's guide and stuff. I still got it. It's downstairs on my book. Or oh, you know what? It's right over here in my other uh, bookshelf. It's only my favorite media thing period ever. Uh, and that's just speaking for Earthbound and, uh, mo you know, Mother 2. I played uh, Mother on NES. In fact, that was the whole reason I figured out how emulation worked way back in the early 2000s was it so I could play Mother when once I found out it existed and everything. And I'm still unspoiled on Mother 3, which I have been in the possession of the fan translation of uh, for years and years, but I've gotten my, uh, younger kid into it. We played through Earthbound, and she loved it. Like, she was invested in it, into it, and everything. Sometimes she even, like, talks to me, like, hey, you remember when, you know, you fight Gygus at the end, and, you know, the whole prayer thing happens where they say your name? She was thrilled by that. Uh, cool, I happen to be going what might be the correct way. Can I scan you? Yeah, okay. It's been a while since I've seen a marine lying around. No, but it's definitely like my favorite thing ever. Power beam. Seek alternate energy source. So it's this is wave beam. Or no, the light beam did it. What do you know? Ah, neato. Okay, we'll leave that be. That's a tiny bit of progress. Elevator is straight ahead. Hey, thank you for the raid, Wham Bam. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no problem. Have a good night. Thank you for the raid. Super rad of ya. Thank you for the follow, oh dear hunter. By the way. And I think I missed other people. Maybe. Not sure. <laughs> uh, Mother 1 is hard due to Mount Etoy. Uh, you know, I think Mother 1 definitely leans a lot more into you have to grind 
like sit here and play the combat mechanic for an hour before you do anything else. Uh, hardest part of Mother 2, in my opinion, is Magic Hand when you're solo for that bit. Uh, toward the end, like if you if you haven't leveled up properly, if you ran away from too many fights over the course of the game, that's where it really it really hurts you, and there's not much you can do about it. Not without pain. Mother 3 is sad and dark. I have heard that. I'm fully unspoiled on it, and that is probably the extent of my knowledge of it, other than Lucas is in it. Uh, alright. So, we can go this way now, right? Sweet. Look at us progressing right through the game at a good clip. Is there a save point up here? There is. Delightful. Wait, can't go there. Wait, can we go there? It says we've been in there. No, it says we can't. Darn it. Uh. Let's see. Oh, we can go this way. This is new. Oh, wait. Another one of those, you just can't go this way now doors. Why is that? Huh. That is very curious. Maybe we gotta go upstairs and talk to the dude? Everything I know about Mother 3's relation to Lisa, if I'm being honest. Lisa the Painful. Yeah, that's another game I've had in my library forever, but uh, have wanted to wait on playing. I've heard it's very dark, but also worth playing. You know, especially if you're an Earthbound nerd. Hey, I was supposed to come up here. Look at me. You're welcome. Lisa the Fr oh man, they made a sequel. I didn't know I didn't even know that. If that if that's what you mean. Your valor honors the Luminoth, those who have passed, those who remain here under my protection as they sleep under deep space. I like to think the little moths are just baby Luminoth. <laughs> so dark that the creator that the creator regretted it. Wow, alright. <laughs> Be on guard, the Ying do not suffer defeat lightly. They will seek revenge for your actions. Yeah, I met a doppelganger of me with toes. It was weird. Oh, it came before it, and it was just Lisa. Holy smokes. Getting, getting the background on my earthbound and earthbound adjacent info. Check out these little guys. <laughs> Alright. Swamplands of Torvis are treacherous and you can and can hinder you considerably. Ah, uh, the bog level. I seem to think this is pretty close to where I ended my original playthrough all those years ago. I remember fighting that worm fight. Uh, Oki pokes, friendo. I'd really like to use that save point, though, that you're teasing me with. I guess I'll go to Torvis and see where it's at. Folks, next on the docket, once I find that save point, is a little bit of New Game Plus Hard Mode Final Fantasy VII Remake. I will be skipping the cutscenes unless anybody in chat has a particular interest in watching them, or if I have a particular interest in watching them. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it'll be it'll be a little bit of fun. 
We might do a little bit of the intermission content with Yuffie uh, later. But I definitely want to goof around in hard mode, New Game Plus. Been really getting into the mechanics of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Alright, well, I guess they came out of the uh, spaceship that the Marines had. That crashed. I get it. It's one of those, like, you know, the the sequel that was way more popular that people called by, called by name, you know, just Lisa. It means we can't bring attention to the original Lisa without confusing the market, so we better just rename <laughs> the first game as something to differentiate it kind of situation thing, I guess. All right, may you find enlightenment and peace, chat. That's for you. I hope we get to find radical times on the freaking half pipe here in a little bit. How does uh, how does chat feel about Final Fantasy VII in the remake? Any opinions floating around in there? It's Samus, but dark. Right, it's Samus, but with toes. <laughs> uh. Scanning. Scanning. Ah. Jeez, you guys. Samus Toran. <laughs> oh man. Great. Now you've gotten my brain started on like trying to cross-reference bounty hunting and feet somehow, and it, it's just I don't know if that's a healthy thing to try to think about. Oh, we gotta go right to the dark world? Boo. Oh, let's refresh my coffee. While our molecular structure gets ripped asunder and reassembled across the threshold. Oh, hey, you guys. I'm here. I'm glad y'all are here, too. Okay. So, this door is no longer a missile door. And we are a sizzling a little bit. It takes a lot longer to cook. But it looks like we're going to be okay. If you know who from the 100% run of... Uh, not quite sure I understand your remark, uh, Zero Ultima 6. There's somebody who is 100%ing this game in here? Ah, uh, there's no light bubbles in here. I'm just sizzling. What the hell is this? Uh, mutated ingworms, bread massive size, block access. Huh. Oh man, is there a thing I gotta do? At least there's a bubble I can think about it. Oh, okay, there's a morph ball thingy there. What's this? Part of a safety system. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, there's four of them. There's some kitty cat action happening behind me. Luminoth. Oh. I guess I don't know to what you're referring to. I've never actually looked up the better endings of Prime 1. Come think about it. Huh. 
Alright, let's see here. So I gotta go back and do a thing. Let's figure this out, and then... Gosh, you know what? They haven't been giving me a save point, either. Scan this, I guess. Oh, these are just like the regular eye lasers from Prime 1. Hmm. Not quite, huh? Oh, it's another one of these. Huh. Well, I'm not too sure I'm getting this. This is just a super missile door over here, according to the map. Should be pretty straightforward. I'm probably overthinking this. There's just a portal right up here. Don't exactly see how to jump up that high. These guys hurt to touch, right? No? Does anything happen when you get close? Can you jump in their jaws? No. Hmm. Remember, missiles don't seem to do anything. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong way. Here we go. Light doesn't do anything. Neither does dark. Hello, Dumpy. Dumpy's my cat. He's behind my webcam. Oh, that didn't even hit. Screw it. Hmm. No, I never did 100% Metroid Prime. Oh, here we go. I didn't even see this. <laughs> I guess it made it look like a solid tube, and I thought I couldn't get in there. Anyways. Oh, wait a minute. I see what's happening here. Great. I gotta go all the way to the other one first and work my way back. Is that right? Oh, nope, that didn't work either. Let's see what happens with this one. Okay, no problem. As long as they don't reset on their own. We come on, let me out. <laughs> ah, jeez. Oh no. Well, that don't help me. Can I drop down from here? Can't. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that it, that it does take the phase on suit as part of dying. I smell ya. I I can deduce what's what's happening here. Uh Rat. This morph ball puzzle, however, I cannot. <laughs> this is awful. I really want this save point. Uh... 
Mm-hmm. Metroid Prime 2, the quest for a damn save point. And here I thought I was making progress. Uh, what does this one block me from? Ah, that's right. Gosh darn it. Well, at least I made it through there. <laughs> Okay, here's what we do. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Indeed, I've got it. Whew. Oh, infusion. The Dark Samus gives up the dark routine by the time they get the fusion, huh? Oh god, what a what a puzzle. Thanks, Metroid Fusion. <laughs> I mean, uh, thanks Metroid Prime 2. Wowzers. Huh. Oh, shit. What the hell? Sorry, I was paying attention. I was trying to read chat. Oh, the SAX is distinct from from Dark Samus, then. Okay. Can't believe they're putting us through a shooting gallery here. There we go. Wait. Did I hit it? Okay, different being entirely. <laughs> tell me, tell me, I. Oh my god. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Video games. Well, at least I Catherine Zeta Jones my way through that laser field. I like that reference. For those of you who heard it before, I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Let's, yeah, video games. Let's do the gauntlet again. Are they going to do it again? Oh, they're not being mean this time. Thank you, game. Well, I'm just locked in place. Like, there's no movement at all. Left stick is completely doing look without me having to toggle it. <laughs> okay, bye, says Betts. Bets and chat, ladies and gentlemen, bets and chat. Main mod. <laughs> I did it. The greatest challenge of my life. Another raid. It's Serious Dave with 13. Holy moly. Serious Dave and the squad. Some of you I'm sure I know. Others might be new. Hi, I'm Negatron. And this is me suffering my way through Metroid Prime Echoes. Uh, the quest for a save point. Um, okay. So, I came out of the portal up here. I don't want to jump down there right away. I think that would screw me. Oh, no, I see. I'm beyond the super missile door. I could just go across the way. Alright, red. What's this? Oh, I need to be on the other side to toggle it. Okay. Happy days. What's up, Mighty High, uh, Lore Marls? Yeah, most of you probably have uh, my sub emotes 
on account of uh, a lot of generosity that's been going around my channel lately. It's been incredible. Okay, where was I? Uh, yeah, I appreciate you, uh, Dave. Thank you so much for the raid. Always super rad of you. I'm going to be switching to Final Fantasy VII Remake New Game Plus here. Uh, as soon as I find that save point I've been looking for for a half an hour. Oh, this is a regular pirate. Hey, thanks for the follow, Zero Ultima. Glad you decided to hit that button. Appreciate all of you, big time. It's been like the raddest stream night ever. Alright, let's see. This thing moves here when you do that with the what you call it. Put the thing in the deal. Looks like now I can easily access the upper parts. Neato. Yeah, new emotes. And like I say, the generosity has led to uh, a number of emote slots unlocking. It's incredible. Alright, I think, I think I'm on the right track. Who knows if they're if they'll ever let me save? I'm on the original. Uh, you accidentally clicked follow. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's understandable. It happens. Uh, Verdant land ravaged by great deluge of the folly of battle. We honor the life that remains. The Luminoth are real chill. You know, they got an enlightened viewpoint apparently, just like the Kozo. If you say Chozo, that's all right. Oh yeah, if there's any any Metroid fans still in the house, uh, what's your favorite pronunciation, Chozo or Kozo? I go with Kozo. I don't know why. The other controversy is uh, Zebes or Zebes. <laughs> And in the OG Metroid, it actually is Zabeth. So it's like the original Eris Aerith uh, schism in a fandom, right? Check out our outfit, Dave. It reminds me of uh, RC from the Transformers animated movie. Or just G1 Transformers. Alright, we're in another damn area. Come on, give me a save point, Metroid. 69 health. It was written. Nice. It's not for long, though. I'm about to get his power up. <laughs> Whoa, hey now. Oh, cutscene. See, I vaguely remember this. And struggling through this area. So I apologize ahead of time. Uh, local containers. Some dead guy. More lore for the logbook I haven't read yet. Hi, Kasumi. What up, device too nice? Welcome. Thanks for coming by. Things are popping tonight on the Metroid Prime 2 uh, Echoes stream. Gotta say. What about these guys? Oh, these guys are in Zelda. I know these guys from Zelda. Shredder. Exploding flying plant. That's one way to get your seeds around. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> uh. Let's see, there's some stuff underwater here. Some fishes. Get over here, fishies. I'm trying to scan you. Yeah, they'll come around. What's this? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the bits, device. Too nice. 50 bitties. So nice of you. Appreciate you. Oh, let me give everybody who's new in chat a warning. Uh, this is a problem that I've learned how to fix during tonight's stream. But Nightbot will get upset at you for spamming emotes. See, I was unaware not only did you need to disable the emote filter, but also the spam filter. <laughs> so I'm doing pretty well, Kasumi. Thank you for asking. How are you? 
friend of the channel, Casimir the Sin of Gluttony. Go check them out, please. Uh, they like to play a lot of Dead by Daylight with our friend uh, Evil Ghoul. <gasps> what? Look! Look! The object of my search! A safe point at last. Glorious, happy days. The. I mean, it's cool that I'm using original hardware. Thank you, Bets. But, uh. The drawback is, is I'm limited to the actual in game saving functions. No save stating. Okay, Samus, say goodnight to these good people.